The Wartburg culture, active during the late Neolithic period, circa 3400 to 2800 BCE, was centered in what is now central Germany. It is particularly noted for its distinctive pottery, collective burial practices, and its role as a cultural intermediary between Eastern and Western Neolithic traditions. Wartburg's funerary practices, particularly their use of collective burial mounds or stone chamber tombs, suggest a degree of cultural influence or parallel development with the megalithic cultures of Western Europe, such as those in Brittany and the British Isles. The Wartburg people were a mixed agrarian society with a lifestyle that combined farming, animal husbandry, hunting, and gathering. Their ancestry traces back to Anatolian Neolithic farmers who introduced agriculture into Europe and indigenous European hunter-gatherers. Their genetic makeup and material culture reflect a synthesis of diverse traditions, illustrating the complex web of interactions that shaped prehistoric Europe. For this video, I gathered four high-quality DNA samples from the Warburg culture. Let's name them Tyler, David, James, and Edward for ease of reference. All four are male and all four carry Y lineage I2 associated with European hunter-gatherers. Here is Tyler's predicted phenotype. Tyler is predicted to have hazel eye color, black hair color, olive skin color, straight hair texture, and a Greek nose shape. Tyler was a worrier and had lower D2 receptor availability. He had average odds of autism, average levels of empathy, average predisposition to obesity, and carried blood type O. Tyler had high odds for hemoglobin E disease, polycystic ovary syndrome, cataracts, age-related macular degeneration, rheumatoid arthritis, myopia, primary biliary cirrhosis, baldness, ADHD, type 2 diabetes, glioma, and testicular cancer. Tyler carried rare risk variants for GSS, Rhea Fenstein's, Poots Jaegers, Jacob Crutzfeldt, familial thoracic aortic aneurysm, and panic disorder. Tyler had low odds for erythema nodosum, gout, eczema, stroke, deep vein thrombosis, multiple sclerosis, and epithelial cancers. Now, let's move on to David. Here is David's predicted phenotype. David had brown eyes, dark brown hair color, olive skin color, straight hair texture, and Greek nose shape. Regarding his dopaminergic profile, he had intermediate rate of dopamine reuptake and lower D2 receptor availability. He had average odds of autism, higher levels of empathy, average odds of obesity, and carried blood type A. David had high odds for exfoliation glaucoma, primary congenital glaucoma, age-related macular degeneration, myopia, baldness, depression, type 1 diabetes, glioma, and polycythemia vera. David carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's, porphyria, familial hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, familial thoracic aortic aneurysm, myosclerosis, lefromini, and pseudoaural sulfatase A deficiency. Next, let's move on to James. Here is James' predicted phenotype. James had hazel eyes, dark brown hair, olive skin, wavy hair texture, and Greek nose shape. Regarding his dopaminergic profile, he had intermediate rate of dopamine reuptake and lower D2 receptor availability. James had average odds of autism, average levels of empathy, average odds of obesity, and blood type O. James had high odds for lupus, cataracts, vitiligo, baldness, Alzheimer's, breast cancer, and glioma. James carried rare risk variants for basal cell carcinoma, hypophosphate asia, familial hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, beta thalassemia, familial thoracic aortic aneurysm, myosclerosis, and Finnish salad disease. James had low odds for kidneys, tones, Tourette's, leukemia, stroke, atrial fibrillation, type 2 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, thyroid cancer, polycythemia vera, and testicular cancer. Finally, we move on to Edward. Here is Edward's predicted phenotype. Edward had green eyes, black hair color, olive skin color, wavy hair, and Greek nose shape. Regarding his dopaminergic profile, he had intermediate rate of dopamine reuptake and intermediate D2 receptor availability. Edward had average odds of autism, average levels of empathy, average odds of obesity, and blood type O. He had high odds for hemoglobin E disease, exfoliation glaucoma, age-related macular degeneration, rheumatoid arthritis, myopia, primary biliary cirrhosis, baldness, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's, and breast cancer. 
Edward carried rare risk variants for GSS, Parkinson's, basal cell carcinoma, porphyria, Poutiegers, familial thoracic aortic aneurysm, San Filippo syndrome, and endometriosis. Edward had low odds for erythema nodosum, polycystic ovary syndrome, stroke, atrial fibrillation, deep vein thrombosis, multiple sclerosis, thyroid cancer, and polycythemia vera. Thank you for watching until the end. You can purchase the samples, as well as my trait predictor, which was used for this analysis, from links in description of the video.